In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create a drip schedule, either based on student enrollment date or the course release date. So in your course dashboard, you're going to click on the drip schedule at the top. Then you're going to click on create drip schedule. Now, of course, this is an option. You don't have to drip out content, which means releasing it at certain time periods. If you're just going to give your students access to everything in the course as soon as they enroll, then you don't need to set up a drip schedule. But if you're hoping to release maybe one new module a week or one new lesson every few days, then you will want to set up a drip schedule. So the first thing you need to decide is how you would like the content to be released. So it can either be released based on a student enrollment date, which means if I enroll in your course today and you have lessons that are released every three days, the first piece of content could be released today and then three days from now and then three days from then. Now, you can also do it from when the course is released. So if you are doing pre-sales for a course that's going to launch on July 30th, then you can do that based on when the course is released and release the content based on that date. So in this case, let's say that we are doing pre-sales and we want to not allow our enrollees to have any access to any of the content until a certain date. So I'm going to click on when this course is released. So now it's going to ask you what day you want to begin releasing content on. So in this case, let's say July 31st, which is a Monday. Now you're going to have to go down and individually schedule each piece of content based on when you want it to be released in relation to this day. So what it's going to do is auto populate all of your content to be released on that same day. So let's say that you want uh, the first and second lesson, so the first module, to be released on the 31st. But then you want the next two lessons to be released on maybe August 2nd. And then maybe the next lesson on August 4th. And the next lesson on August 7th. So you go through and you choose the release dates for when students are going to have access to new course content. So let's scroll up then once you're done that and click on Save Changes. Now alternatively, if you want the content to be released based on the student enrollment date, we're going to change the course schedule here. And now it's going to say, how many days after enrollment do, do you want them to get this particular lesson? So maybe on the first day they enroll, which would be day zero, they get the welcome email. And then maybe you release one piece of content per day. Over the period of the course. And then you'll go ahead and save changes. So now it's time for you to go in if you're using a drip schedule and set up your own drip schedule in your course and then come back to the next lesson.